water substance at 70 bar and 65 degrees C enters a boiler tube of constant inside diameter of 25 millimeters or 0.025 meters the water leaves the boiler tube okay the fact that something is leaving something means it's easier to visualize the problem by drawing it so something is leaving the boiler water at an exit velocity of 150 meters per second let's call the exit state 2 and we're trying to find the inlet velocity in meters per second and let's call this state 1 it looks like the law of conservation of mass applies here which simply means m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2 whatever goes in is what goes out and we know that mass can be found by or rather let's say this is mass flow rate by putting a dot over it but the mass flow rate can be found by multiplying the volume flow rate by the um, density of our substance or multiplying the volume flow rate by the reciprocal of the specific volumes which are given here you can probably see where I'm going with this so let's replace m sub 1 with the volume flow rate divided by the oh sorry this is reciprocal so this would be underneath and this is the first state similarly on the other side this would be the second state now if you remember the continuity equation volume flow rates can be given by multiplying the cross-sectional area of our pipe by the volume or rather the velocity not the volume sorry and of course don't forget to include the specific volume and do the same to the other side as for the area we're given a constant diameter of 25 millimeters but since it is constant well a sub 1 is going to be the same as a sub 2 so these actually cancel out and we are given the exit velocity already as well as the two specific volumes so now we have everything we need to uh, find the inlet velocity so the inlet velocity is simply the initial specific volume multiplied by the exit velocity divided by the exit specific volume and we can simply put that in our calculator v sub 1 is 0 0.001017 times the exit velocity of 150 meters per second and an exit specific volume of 0 0.06081 and we do get a value of 2.51 meters per second looks like that is our final answer i hope this helped you consider supporting me on patreon and i will see you in the next one